The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Now, Basil Chapman. Hi, folks. Basil Chapman on this Friday the 12th. This is the uh, Tiger Technicians Hour, and we're looking at the uh, Dow, uh, the E Mini S and P look down 38 points, 52.05. So I did the Tommy show just uh, now, and we were looking at this, and I was saying <clears throat> that the target would be if it had to get to a D, the uh, uh, 52.16ish area, <clears throat> and it went right to the 200 period moving average. Made a peak D, the fourth highest peak in the Chapman wave. That's where other things can happen. And it's pulled back sharply. Now it's, uh, up, uh, it's down at 52.01, uh, minus 41. Now, it's really important, since this is Technical Friday, I wanted to talk about this. I spoke about it in Tommy's show, but I'll do it again. For those of you who trade futures, and of course, Larry's doing, I'm sure, a great workshop right now. It's uh, Trading Fridays. Uh, this is one of his first, this is his first Friday in this particular uh, venture. <clears throat> but I wanted to mention, if you trade futures, be prepared at the 4 o'clock hour on at the closes, Eastern Time. If there's a move that after that sets a very narrow band in the E-mini. It can stay there. I draw this all the time, these rectangles. Look how long the rectangle is. It's trading within a, a seven or something point. Let me give you the exact number. It's trading between 52.40 and 52.48. Seven or eight points. And it did that from four o'clock yesterday at the close to when it broke down, because this narrow rectangle, I've got a whole webinar. If you subscribe to my service, you'll be able to get my webinars. I've got a whole webinar on the large rectangle and the narrow rectangle. And what happened in the narrow rectangle, if it's up at the higher end of the range, <clears throat> when it eventually breaks, it breaks that support level, and that could be it. And that, I think, is it. It's like a two-click session. When it broke down, it went pink with the nine-period moving average. If you went short, you could click once, and maybe by the end of the day, you can just click again, just go out and put a stop in and say, hey, tell me what's happening. All right, so now we're down at 51.97. So I've been saying for subscribers, and I hope I don't depend, depends on the voice. I might not be able to do my, over, my overview uh, subscriber weekend um, video, about an hour-long video today. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow morning. Ah, first tennis, and then I'll play. And then I'll do the video. We'll see. <clears throat> so the dollar is at 106.00. Just need to take some tea. And the question for weeks and weeks and weeks has been, why would the dollar and the gold go up in the same direction? And I've been saying for uh, at least a year now, it's probably over a year. I call it Bondi, Crudy, Dolly, Goldie, and Vixie. Bondi is for bonds, Crudy is for crude oil, dollars for uh, Dolly's for dollar, Goldie, of course, is for gold, and Vixie is for, for the volatility index, which is at 17.54 of 2.64, and now there's a difference in the volatility index. Actually, I should do that, but I first finish the dollar. <clears throat> the dollar is the favorite currency of the world. Uh -uh. Let me just rephrase that. It is the currency of the world, not necessarily the favorite currency. There are a lot of, a lot of countries that are saying, we would like to move away from the dollar, but they can't. The dollar is it for the moment. So we we're along the dollar. We've been along the dollar since 2018 for other reasons uh, and uh, staying along the dollar for now. Taking little profits off. That, that was back when it was at 90.07. Seen it go all the way, way up, and then all the way down. But our stop is held, and now we're still in it. Not the point. The point is, 
The dollar's moving higher. Well, EUR, USD, have a look at this. Look at these two charts, daily, weekly, monthly. Look at that sharp move down in the euro. And it got repelled at the 200 period moving average in the weekly and then in the daily. But look at the USD JPY. Now the yen and the dollar very often trade in the same direction, not the same uh, uh, um, percentage gains or losses, but just the same direction. It made a leg E today at 153.38, pulling back. <clears throat> pulling back a little bit, leg D in the weekly chart. D is where other things can happen, but it is a D and it's over the 151.60 high of uh, October, November of the, uh, the fall of this past year. 151.94 was the all-time high. I should have put a date there. I think it was June. What was that? When was that? And that was October, uh, no, November, November of 2022. Plummets down to the 120s and it goes all the way back up. And here it is at an all-time high. And that's just telling us that there are things going on. So the dollar is strong because it's the currency of import. This is, the, this is where money flows, where things look a little bit kind of hazardous. <clears throat> Look at gold. Gold is now up 55, 2,428. The GDX <clears throat> is at that Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone, the monthly chart. Huge leg D in the, day, in the weekly chart, leg E in the monthly. And under any other circumstances, <clears throat> you would have to say, you know what? The 38.25 high in the GDX back in May of 2023, um, go all the way down to 25. That's a big pullback. It's about a third. 25.62 back in September. Have the arch formation. These arch formations, I want to have a look at another arch formation. I wrote it down somewhere, but I'll have a look at that in a little while. <clears throat> 25.62 was the low. Back in November, 25.67, five cents higher um, in February, beginning of March. And here we are at 35.52. Look at the silver, SLV. I have to keep extending these leg Ds, a single leg D like this to the upside, something's going on. Left side high, failure pattern from the high of uh, February of 2021. It goes from 27.98 down to a low. September of 2022 at 16.19. And here it is over 10 points high in leg D. And it's targeting what? It's targeting the 28s. At 28 from way back in 2021. <clears throat> so, that, and there's your the pieces. They thought it's a I'll be back in front of health. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A 
former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member. Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The Gold Report as a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Uh, yeah, so let's just get going here. We'll do, so the silver, SLV, this is the ICES Silver Trust, is about to hit the left side high of 20, did it hit 28? Uh, yeah, 2798. <clears throat> 27.98. And that was uh, January or February of 2021. And we are now at 2707. It looks to me from the pattern. And this is, oh, let me just show you some of the techniques. This is Technical Friday. In the cup formation or the arch formation, if you want to see if there's a chance of the number of bars on the left side they could equal the number of bars on the right side from the low. That's called the plumb line. So the plumb line would normally be right here. Oh, why did I move it away? That was a mistake. Let me just correct that. Nope, wrong way. Get out of that, remove, remove. So I'll show you some of the techniques I like to use. So that's the midpoint right there. So that's the bar that we want to check out. So we're over here, say. So what I do is I, there's a particular technique. I, this is one of the techniques that I discuss in my webinars that are on my page if you're a subscriber. So here's the low bar. <clears throat> this is on the, is that August or September? That's September of 2022 at 16... Point nineteen. So I choose a candle on the left, and I try to draw. Now let's just say I'm now. This is I'm going to make it up. I'll say this is now March of 2023. I, I think I actually did that uh, uh, earlier in the year, um, either this year or end of last year. See, so this is the way it would work if I had the chaff wave inside wedge target resistance line. <clears throat> now we don't have this position. I'm just doing this in a theor theoretical way, just to show you a technique that I had already drawn in. So this is the low, 
And what I do is, if it looks like it says, gee, that's a, that's a, that's a long way to go back to 27.98 when you're in the 22s, um, I like to use this inside wedge as some kind of a target resistance line, dash green on the way up. And then if I get this to join, it gives me a really good sense that the plumb line that I'm using, and now I'm going to do this just to show you what I'm talking about. The plumb line is the vertical line down like that, and it goes to this particular low right here, right? <clears throat> so now what I do is I go click. You don't have to have all this pink and rectangle. You just have a line. The next line could be a dashed line. So I repeat it. It's easy to do. Once I have it, I'm going to use it. And I make that green because that's on the way up if it's going to do that. And it just gives you a sense of where it should go. Right? There's the plumb line. So I don't even have to count the number of bars. I'm just saying from that high <clears throat> to that high is this number of bars. I click it, and that says the same number of bars should take me to the back to that 27.98 high. And therefore, once it's holding the green moving average and you've gone to a peak C and it returns to a positive mode, I can put an up arrow. Oops, wrong thing. <clears throat> so that's an up arrow there. And since it's a buy signal to a buy mode, but only when the stochastic <clears throat> really gets stronger. So this is one that was kind of suspicious. So I would put it in, and I remember at the time saying, gee, I don't know. It's acting quite poorly, but we'll see if it's able to get to at least the trend line resistance. Well, have a look at this. The month has still got a couple of weeks to go. And where are we? We're already at 26.94. So even as a trade, maybe an options trade, looking out, that would say 27, let's call it 28, would be a target. That's uh, that's um, that's two three points. Uh, no, sorry, it's about a point and a half. So even here, it says it should. It's got the whole month in which to get to that level, and the date is this exact date today, April, not today, this month, April. That would give you the same number of bars to the downside in SLV, the ICS Silver Trust, to the number of bars on the upside. Did I anticipate? This kind of move here, look, even here, if you just close your eyes and got in, that would be great. But uh, that, that means at any point it could suddenly turn down. If it turns down from this level, there's a chance that it could give back a chunk, right? The gaps and all sorts of things. No, there's something going on here, which I noticed a couple of days ago. Still haven't taken the position, though. <clears throat> and that said, something is happening in the Middle East that is different to what is happening about a month ago. And you can see that by the breakout in March, going into April, in gold and silver. That's important. But look at high-grade copper. So high-grade copper is still going well. Remember, I talked about this the other day. I said, in the Chapman methodology, I like to say that when you get to a G, treat it as a G slash C, because invariably it's going to go to a D, and then you've got to be a little careful. Well, lo and behold, high-grade copper is in leg D, right there. And wait, it's only a leg C in the weekly chart, <clears throat> And in the pattern that I like to look at in this cup formation using the same technique I just discussed, using this as a plumb line, it had until a couple of weeks to go before it hit the high of the week of the 14th of April of 2023 of 4.321. 4, 4 and where is it today? Is it 4.2605? Right now it's straight. Oops, that's where it opened. <clears throat> Trading right now at 4.3225, leg D. And this is copper. So this is just the weirdest situation. But I think what we're looking at is just very overbought stocks needing to digest gains because as an economic barometer, high-grade copper over here is good, doing very well. Um, <clears throat> if you look at this as a uh, inflationary aspect, look, if you go to uh, DBA, which is the DBA Agricultural Fund, which we have, um, is at an all-time high as we speak. It's at 2567. We have it in the 13s way back here. Look, June of 2020 was a low. We got in just uh, about a, a month or two later at 13, uh, in the 1370s. And here it is at 2567, and it's in a G slash C. Uh, that says it could go still a little higher. And this is an inflationary aspect. Um, that's why we've got leg C. And on leg E, as you see in the weekly, uh, I call this an A right here 
22.18 was the high of the week of the 9th of February. This is the DBA uh, Agricultural Fund. And 22.18 was the following week's high. I call this a phantom peak. In other words, it didn't buy one penny pull back to make a peak, but I cheated it because it was, look at the on-balance volume, how it had a little hiccup right there. And that said, you know what? Cheat that as an A so that you're ahead of the game and you'll probably be right because it'll go to a C, and which should naturally be a B if I didn't count that. And you want to be ahead of the game to get to a D and be ready for the pullback. So far, everything is really, this is inflationary. This is what the Fed's looking at. There's a huge inflation aspect. But what's interesting is if you go to wheat, that's wheat. Uh, this is just at the lower end of the range. It's acting very poorly. It held the cha the ins channel wave inside track propeller zone, but it really hasn't done very much. Made a massive high up in the in the continuous contract up in the 1530s back in March of 2022. Since then, it's just been lower highs and lower lows. I'll be right back. Basil Chapman, Tiger News, and Tower, Charles Chapman, forty-one. And where are the SMHs? They are down 4.6. Good. Up in If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tiger Technician's Hour is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. 
They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, everyone. We're back, and we're looking at the Dow down 313. Mm -hmm. S&B down 42. We've got Garo from Newport Beach on the line. Garo, how are you? I'm very good. How about you, sir? I'm well. I feel good, but my voice is uh, not that great. Mine is the same way, basically. Don't worry. I have... I have throat cancer. I'm going to go for surgery on 18th of April next oh, Thursday. Oh, Carol. Yes. Well, sir. I, I yes, wish sir. you the very, very best. I just uh, we'll we'll be praying yes. for you right here. We'll have white lightning for you when you go in. Hope everything <laughs> yes. works I out. I hope everything yeah. will be fine. But next Thursday on 18th, I'm going to go for my throat surgery. They're going to they're going to pull it out with a laser that CO CO2 laser that carbon dioxide. But oh, anyway. Oh. And All right. Yes, sir. Good luck. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. Thank you. So, uh, regarding regarding CCCC, that C4, C4 uh, if therapeutic you look at the chart, yes. uh, the, the, it hit the first dot at the bottom, the sharp parabolic, uh, right. and then on same with the 120 minute and same with 60 minute, all of them they have one dot at the bottom, uh, so. Uh, I bought uh, here. Uh, I bought thousand shares at seven seventy five. Uh, I'm going to have uh, three thousand shares, but I'm going to wait until the five day simple moving average will cross that fifty day, which is around eight dollars and forty. When it here crosses that eight forty, then I'm going to buy two thousand more shares. But to start with, I start with seven seventy five with thousand shares. What is your idea, sir? You know, I. <laughs> This is because it's in the biotech area, I suspect it's biotech. Um, there needs to be a news angle to this. And the chart is saying that so far there's no news. See, when there was news, I followed this for a long time. When there was news, ever, ever since you brought it to our attention way back, way back, I, you know what? I think it was right, this big spike up here on, the, on December the 14th, 2023, I think you called me and we discussed it. So yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm saying to you that that was a move that had some credence to it. It has some uh, veracity. There were, something was going on with their product that was being met very favorably. At this particular point, I have to wait for a trigger. I have to wait for something that says it has a catalyst that is going to be able to suddenly push it quickly and it needs speed because that's the way this works it needs speed and needs to get to the levels you're talking about as i see it right now i just think it's sideways not there's no real um there's no real strength to it the macd is improving a little bit the uh, relative strength is not bad it's holding steady but it's not great the stochastic rallied quite nicely to 27 from the single digits and the price barely but i I have a completely different opinion of this. I, I think you could be right, but being in this area, only when there's a catalyst, only when there's a trigger that pushes it sharply higher and every pullback is met with buying, would I be? I would do it in your other style, the style that says, I'm looking at something that's moving, I've got my saw parabolic, I've got everything's there, and now it's really moving. I don't see that with this. I think it can stay in the sideways trading band. Oh, it could touch, um, it could go to 825, 830. But until it gets to 885, 910 um, and holes, I think it's just kind of stuck. So I, I have a little bit of a different opinion. The, mag, the uh, technicals in the weekly chart, the 9 is still way over the 14, so that's good. I just, I don't see it having the, no, nothing here tells me that it has the impetus right at this particular point to suddenly spike. And you've got the market being very weak, and it's, it's responding more to the market. It's down five cents. CCCC is the uh, symbol, folks, trading at 7.75, <clears throat> down three cents, holding fairly well considering the marketplace. But I just don't see the catalyst. So this is one where I have to ha give it to you to say your technique 
is the one that you need to follow because mine's just saying sideways, nothing to see. They're not breaking down. That's good, but it's not breaking up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good. Uh, I, I appreciate and I respect your ideas so much. Thank you, sir. I'll keep that in mind and let's see what will happen. We'll go day by day. Thank you. So I'll thank you very much week, and sir. good luck. Yes, good luck, Gary. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, yes, folks, sir. I had a okay. question. Bye. I, could I look at the uh, two things? Let me just get the one first, and then we'll go to the TLT. What was the question? <clears throat> oh, U R N M. Uh, yes, U R N M. What is the question? Can we look at it? Do you see fifty-seven? I am long. <clears throat> Um, it's trading at 54.82. This is a spot uranium minus ETF uranium. I like it. I think that the monthly is going to go to a leg D up in the 59.60 area. That would mean that the weekly, yes. So I discussed this for a little while. A couple of shows I've spent on this. And I said that you, this is the spot uranium minus ETF. This is the ETF. This is the conglomerate. This is the, the co composite where you've got everything that they want to put in. There are not that many stocks, but they've got. So look what it did. It made a peak D in the chaff wave. That's where you expect some kind of a pullback. And we got that from the 5896 area on the week of the first, uh, second of, uh, yeah, the week of the second of uh, February. And then I'd say to you, I do this all the time in the uh, in my my trading for the um, for the futures. If I see a pullback and it doesn't change, for instance, here's the five minute E mini. It we went to that peak D at the 200 period moving average. I said, watch out, this will become a, a, a repellent zone if it's 5202 levels taken out. Here it is at 5188. So I would be very careful playing. Just for those of you, I know that some of you are playing the futures and some of you are looking for a bounce. No, the trend has changed to a downtrend. Therefore, you're going to be looking at lower highs and lower lows. Okay, but what I wanted to say, you see how that big rally in the um, weekly chart. Yeah, it's pink, and there's a massive rally. I mean, a rally that goes from 51.94 at nine and five, five minutes past nine this morning, and goes all the way. I mean, this is this is a big rally uh, to the 52.18.75 area. I mean, really. And look what happened. It stayed pink. And what happened is when it pulled back and went underneath the nine and 14 period moving average. That gave it the impetus to push down. Well, look at the exact, I wish I could, I could but I'm not going to do it right now. Take a picture of this in reverse. So this is the picture in reverse. Look, the weekly chart of uranium went sharply lower. It went from the 58s down to the 45s. No, it went to 44.91. And that 93 moving average refused to go pink. It stayed green. That is a positive. Look at this. You see that in the chart right now. Look. When it pushes down, it pushes down and it doesn't go pink. That's really bullish. Yes, I agree with you. I'll be right back. Dow's down 356. SMB's down 52. Yeah, and now the SMH is a point. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter. 
Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds for both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. So of course I was going to go to bonds, but I had a question in the den about the TGP, which is to say Mines Limited, <clears throat> trading at 253, up two cents at 253 right now. <clears throat> so the high yesterday, <clears throat> 267 was I back in May of 2021 at a peak C. <clears throat> it pulled back, and now this is another peak C. It went from gray to a blue peak C, which says it should still go higher. Retest. This is the one that if it pulls back here and then breaks above the 267 from May of 2021, that'll be an overlapping wave. Right now, if it goes above 267, this peak C falls away and it reactivates that previous one to become a D. All right, and that's still very bullish. Um, right now, it looks, now, under normal circumstances, I would just say to you, you know, this is acting so well, but if I did a measured move and I looked at the um, unbalanced volume right here, which is extremely overbought, there should be a pullback. Should and could is not a visual thing. What I need is technical veracity. <clears throat> the stochastic is at 90%. That is really good. So I'm just going to say I'm going to draw this in as a rectangle. It doesn't have to be there. I'm just saying just at this particular, I should wait for Friday at 4 o'clock because I'm doing the weekly chart. But I'm going to put this in as a green rectangle. I should make it pink, but I'm going to make it green right now. And just say the 220 level is really key. If it breaks under that in the next week, it's going to go quite a bit lower. But the way it's acting right now, this is to say combines copper, and copper is holding very well. I'm just going to say there could be a high-level consolidation. It could be like gold and silver because the, the instigator of its move to the upside is still there. It's the materials. It's it's the sorry the commodities that are in in great demand. I didn't do this with Gara. I was going to do it. CCC uh, at CC is the is the um, cocoa and look at it. It broke to a new high. Now I have to consider <clears throat> that this is the G slash B. It could go even higher, all-time high. We're talking about 10,270. And that looked overbought, but the nine was so high above the 14. I said, no, we can't just take it for granted that it's going to pull back. It's the same as BTC, Bitcoin. Bitcoin, I said, I should be in a digester phase. Look at this. Look at that move in the weekly chart. Pay peak F is held. This is actually a gray leg B right now. Look at that sideways. It hasn't broken down. I suspect it's going to go sideways. And then at some point, Fairly in about two by two weeks out, we could look at Bitcoin below 60,000, but right now it's at 69,875. So the visual doesn't mean to say that it has to do what your visual says because it looks overboard. So I'm going to say, let's go back to TGB, that the 520s will be key support. It's at 553 right now. <clears throat> it can go higher, but I'm just telling you, don't look at the height, look at the the the, the potential support and the support at this point 
is 242 on the nine period moving average, 234 on the um, <clears throat> 14 period moving average. And I'm not sure what the heck this is here. Oh, There's a moving average of sorts. This is 220. I'm just saying 220 level is key in the shorter term. That's the support level. It's acting very well. Uh, so let's go back to what we were looking at before. And I'd said, um, we'll go to the TLT. Here we go, bonds. So bonds are up a point at 90.87. Now, talking about 90, let me just show you something. Uh, I, I like relationships. This is a this is the Friday, technical Friday, so I'm going to move all over the show. Look at Nike. <clears throat> Nike made 88.78, low yesterday. Uh, three days ago, it had an 89 round number. You remember I talk about round numbers all the time, close. And today it's at 92.25 of 25 cents, having tested the September 2020, September 2023 low of 88.66 after running all the way into the 120s in a leg B. They went to a peak B. And this is still a peak B because it didn't take out 88.66. So we can restart the whole thing. Isn't that interesting? You would expect. So yes, Nike acting extremely well with an 89 low. So I'm looking at these double bottoms. And double bottoms means that the TLT, now you can see the relationship that I'm talking about, had a low that was made. <clears throat> Let's just go right, drag this across. Right, yeah. It had a 93.10 low uh, back in uh, 2024 and then screamed up to the 98s. Well, the five points is pretty good. What does it do? It comes back to 92.01, takes it out, and then goes big ABC and fails. <clears throat> and then eventually when it took it out, that was a serious takeout to the downside. That was, the, that was on the 3rd of April, 2024. I would say that that's 3rd of April is... Um, about a week or so ago, and now it's tested the 89.51 area, trying to rally today. But look, the technicals are terribly weak. The MACD is weak. The stochastic is at 11%. The on-balance volume is showing no signs. So let's look at the TBT to see, to see if there's going to be some relationship. Well, the TBT has just made a PT. Now, I'm going to venture to say that I, I can see the, on a short-term basis, I can see yields coming down a little bit. I can see the uh, TBT, the TLT going a little higher so that yields come down. But I would treat it as a trade. When you're looking at the kind of inflationary things that we're looking at right now, now you've got crude oil much sharper. Look at that. Just about to start a leg. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. 8767 on the continuous contract. 87.63. So here we are. We've started leg D. <clears throat> right there. D in the daily chart. How are we doing with Exxon? Let's just see. Up near, yep, it's an all-time high. As we speak, 123.75. So, all right, I've got that out the way. I just want to say I can see a bit of a pullback in yields, but I think that the, the trajectory right on the shorter term is that Yields are going to go higher. Uranium, so I, I, I should mention uranium looking much better. So I just need to review. I don't even remember if I finished my URNM. Yes, this is a leg D. And then I believe it. Okay, so key supports in the 53 to 52 area. It's in a leg D and it's acting extremely well. I do believe that the 58 should be a target. I don't know about the high just yet. Let's say 56.30. Now, if it goes above 56.30 next week, yes. So we have UEC, which is the Uranium Corporation, Uranium Energy Corporation. And it's the one that I said, other than S CCJ. Am I correct, CCJ? <clears throat> Kamika Core? Yep, I believe that's it. Oh, come on. Well, this is giving my voice a rest there. CCJ. Yeah, so CCJ is the one. This is the, the this is the, the big one. Kamiko Corporation, all-time high. As we, I think it's an all-time high. Don't say all-time high until you know. No, it's 
Uh, 4481 was the high back in 2011, uh, and it took a little tumble down to the fives, and now it's 10 times higher at 5217. So I like that. That's the big, the, the, the big one. I'd say Big Daddy, but Big Daddy that today doesn't uh, it doesn't do justice to what it's doing. This is a leg D. It broke the previous peak D. This is now a new leg E slash A. And now we're looking at UEC, which is the one that was technically even better. I'll be back. Tigers, we have some exciting news. Live Trading Fridays are here. Join Larry Pesavento every second and fourth Friday of the month, 9 a.m. to noon Eastern time, as he places short-term trades and gives insights into his strategies. That's right, that means the first Live Trading Fridays event starts this Friday, April 12th. Make sure to sign up so you don't miss the potential for huge gains. If you've attended Larry's stellar webinars before, you'll be familiar with the Live Trading portion. Live Trading Fridays will be strictly this portion. That's three hours of pure trading. All trade positions will be communicated clearly, and all questions will be answered in a timely fashion during these live events. When signing up, make sure to save $50 by using code LARRYLIVE at checkout. This code is valid only for this month, and the discount stays with you for as long as you're a subscriber to the service. So don't delay. Sign up, sit back, and follow Larry Pesavento as he places trades live. See you there, Tigers. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So what I was saying, out of the smaller stocks in the uranium area, this is the one that we've had since the threes. It's up at 757 right now. Um, it's acting extremely well. You see, it went the night moving average ne on the weekly chart never even went negative. We went all the way down to 607 from 834 high. So I think it's acting well. So just as we're about to wrap up, um, you know, I talk about the two click session and I said this was a possible two click session. What does it mean? It means that you click once to go long or short very early in the morning. And you try your best. Sometimes it's best to have a couple of positions and at your, your nervousness area, you just take something off. But you try your best to keep it, the, the position, till the end of the day or the, at least 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock. And then, and then you get out. So this maybe is going to be a two-click session. This is, this is uh, we're down 57 in the E-mini. Uh, watch the 5170 level. It's going to be absolutely critical to hold. It might have a little bounce now. So I'm going to hand you over to Steve Rhodes. Check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. We are short the semiconductor area. 
Uh, we're also short the Dow. And the positions we have a little bit under the radar. Hopefully, they they are so, so far holding well. We do have an oil service stock in that area. <clears throat> we'll see if that's going to hold and do very nicely. So far, it's doing quite nicely. So, with that said, I'm going to say to you, have a wonderful. Oh, I got. Am I beating the clock? I'm trying to beat the clock, and I'm going to actually try to go over to Larry's uh, live. Remember, Fridays, every second Friday. Larry Pizzavento, live trading, should be fantastic. So with that said, why are we not, uh, right, doesn't matter. Here we go, the VIX index. Let me just do this, VIX.X. The VIX index is up really sharply. Um, oops, I want to go to it in the daily chart. The VIX index, here we go. The VIX, that's the volatility, remember? That's the emotional, uh, whoa, what a big boom. That says, yeah, maybe we get a little bit of a bounce, but the way it's going, higher highs and higher lows, yeah, that just says that the fifth, the 19, no, that's 1898, 200-period moving average, which every time it hits, that's the worst part of the market. Sell-off is getting very close to that. So, that's to 1950 by the end of the day. That's a big problem. 